Welcome. Let's discuss similar right triangles. So let's consider this right triangle on the left. What would happen if we introduce an altitude line? Now starting from B, let's draw a line that is perpendicular to the opposite side. Let's call this intersection point D. Notice what happens when we introduce this line. We started with the right triangle ABC. But because of this altitude line, we also have another right triangle, ADB. We also have another right triangle, DBC. What the altitude line has done, it has created three right triangles. Let's draw them separately in the bottom. Let's start with the biggest right triangle, ABC. Then let's draw the next smallest right triangle, BDC. And then let's draw the smallest right triangle, ADB. Now, let's just concentrate on the three right triangles that we have drawn. One thing that is special about these triangles is that they are similar right triangles. Triangle ABC, it is similar to triangle BDC, which is also similar to triangle ADB. And because they are similar, then their sides are in proportion. Out of all the proportions that we can create, we're going to concentrate on three scenarios. Let's compare the middle and the smallest triangle. We can see that AD is going to be in proportion with BD. And that is going to be equal to the proportion between DB and DC. And when we set these proportions, we have a scenario of a geometric mean. Because notice that the expression on the denominator in the first fraction, it is equal to the expression on the numerator in the second fraction. And this is an important result. We will use this proportion when we are working with similar right triangles. For the second scenario, let's compare the big right triangle with the smallest right triangle. Notice that AD is going to be in proportion with AB. And AB is going to be in proportion with AC. And notice that here we have another geometric mean because the expression on the denominator in my first fraction, it is equal to the expression in the numerator in my second fraction. And this is an important result. We will use this proportion when we are working with similar right triangles. And for our third scenario, let's compare the big right triangle with the middle right triangle. We can say that AC it's in proportion with BC. And then we can say that BC, it's in proportion with DC. And notice that we have the same scenario as before. The denominator on the first fraction, it is equal to the numerator on my first fraction. We will use this proportion when we are working with similar right triangles. And these are the three proportions that we consider when we are working with similar right triangles. Let's summarize what we have said. Let's start by labeling our right triangle. Let's call AB like A, and let's call BC like B. Given a right triangle, if we introduce an altitude line, let's call the intersection D, and because it's an altitude, then we know that the intersection is 90 degrees. We have created three right triangles. And within these three right triangles, we have special proportions. We have a proportion where BD is a geometric mean. So we can set it up as a fraction equals to another fraction. And the denominator of the first fraction is BD. And the numerator of the second fraction is BD. And the numerator of the first fraction is AD. And the denominator of the second fraction is DC. One way to remember this is that it looks like a T. Another relationship that we saw, it's when leg A 
it's another geometric mean. So if we set up a fraction equals to another fraction, the denominator of my first fraction is going to be like a, let's call it ba. And the same goes for the numerator of the second fraction. And ba is a geometric mean in relation to ad and ac. And one way to remember is that ad, it's in the same triangle as ab, and it's a section of the hypotenuse of the original triangle, and ac is the whole hypotenuse of the original triangle. And we also saw that leg B can be seen as a geometric mean. So if we set up a proportion equals to another proportion, the denominator of the first fraction is BC, and the numerator of the second fraction is also BC. And BC is a geometric mean in relation to DC and AC. And one way to remember is that DC it's in the same triangle as BC, and it is part of the hypotenuse of the original triangle, AC. Hello. If you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left. 